Hello guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Glitcher and today I want to share with you my own experience about Skull and Bones. The CEO of Ubisoft said that it is a 4 a game, but the truth is that they have a lot of expectations from a game that has very little content, events with very weak prizes, unstable servers. In my opinion it is a beautiful game but it has a lot of flaws. For me, it's a disappointment, especially since it's a game awaited for more than 10 years and it turned out to be an extremely big failure. Let's start with the Battle Pass, which, as you can see, is poor. It has a lot of cosmetics and some stuff like the Mortar that can be bought on the black market before you unlock it from the Battle Pass. It seems like we paid $100 for a game that was supposed to be the greatest pirate game ever made, but we got a farming game of gold. A Naval Simulator. I noticed that NPCs resigned from Ubisoft, the blacksmith is not at work today. The same with the carpenter, as other NPCs are nowhere. So it seems that these bugs keep appearing all the time. What else I noticed is that the ships have started to pass from one point to another. The rogues have also started to teleport. Still many problems with the servers they are still crushing. A lot of bugs, glitches, and errors, you can't interact with the manufactories because the war music is on and no enemies in the horizon. This is more a farming game because of the lack of some sort of auto-collective gold and you don't have time to play and enjoy the game. The rewards for every kingpin level are zero. Those rewards you can craft them in the early game after a few levels, so this is my own experience with the game. And let me know in the comments if you had the same or other issues with the game. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notifications bell. Thanks for watching and see you next time.